flagship, we're working at the edge of human knowledge. Every day we get up and go to that boundary, if you will, and try to pierce beyond it, create something new, create a new space full of new possibilities and new solutions for humankind. And that's what's so inspiring to be doing that every day, day in, day out, uh, doing something completely novel and uh, knowing that you're working at the boundary of human ingenuity, what is and what isn't, what exists and what doesn't. As a team, we need to play a game of two extremes, uh, to leap into the future while remaining tethered to reality in some sense, uh, and to uh, play a game of make-believe together uh, while remaining logical, scientific, uh, and constantly toggling between the two. That's really a really important part of our process and a continual way in which we work day in, day out. Profound is a flagship pioneering bioplatform company that we just announced. And uh, the company has built a platform to expand the known human proteome, meaning the parts list that makes us human. And in this expanded human proteome, we're looking to find new drug targets and or new medicines in and of themselves. At the turn of the century, when the first draft of the Human Genome Project was completed, we were all excited yet dismayed to find the full compendium of protein coding genes. They numbered in on the order of about 20,000, which was far less than what we had previously hoped. Um, and the entire biotechnology industry has been focused on those 20,000 genes ever since. In the ensuing decades, we've realized that the human genome is actually much more active transcriptionally, meaning making many, many more RNA species. And now, Profound's discovery is that many of these RNA molecules actually get converted into proteins. Within these tens of thousands of new proteins, we've already identified new factors that modulate the immune system, factors that could be responsible for rare disease, other things that are important in driving cancer. Uh, so imagine within this entire new set, there could be the next insulin for diabetes, or the next erythropoietin for anemia, or maybe even the next PD-1 for immuno-oncology. And so the company is not simply focused on discovering and expanding this universe, but also finding the ones, the finding the proteins that could be responsible for disease and targeting them or using them as drugs in and of themselves.